The first thing is the prestige of LSU, right? As, as a whole, as a university, what it means to the community in Louisiana, um, you know, how it's a staple. You know, when I was here in Louisiana, I mean, <laughs> everyone wanted to be a part of the program. And uh, I, I love how the recruiting has put a fence around the state. Um, and so that was very intriguing. And then to be a part of such tradition that they have here in terms of the defensive tradition, uh, attacking style overall, um, the playmakers that you're going to get from the state of Louisiana and, and the best around the country. So you have a chance to get the best players in the country, as you see it on this upcoming Sunday, right, with the Super Bowl uh, participants. Um, so that carries over. And then working with Coach O. You know, I, I look back to Coach O when, you know, he followed when he was at Ole Miss and then I had a chance to visit with him when he was at USC and you love his energy, you love being around him and what he brings to the table. And guys play to that, guys respond to that. And so just to be a part of that energy, the culture that he has built here, um, it was enticing, it was enticing. Players first, scheme second, right? Players first, scheme second. And so we want to put our guys in the best position to make plays. Right? We want to uh, minimize error, make sure we're over-communicating, have an attacking style defense uh, where we can dictate the terms and play fast. You know, These guys are here for their athletic ability. Uh, we're going to give them some techniques and fundamentals, and we're going to harp on that. We're going to be very detailed in that. Um, we're gonna, like, you know, coaches have already probably talked to you about in terms of probably based out of a 4-3 because you have you know, some studs on the outside with Ali Gay and you have Andre Anthony, those guys like that, that can set the edge and play fast. And so um, want to utilize their talents where they can be on the edge, play a half a half a man and uh, disrupt the passing game. Um, also leading to that to be very physical in the run game. Um, but since the biggest thing that we want to do is do everything as violent as possible. Um, and that's the aggressive mindset that we want to set tone, set forth going forward. Uh, one, the ability to uh, communicate. Um, I think that's a, a strength um, that a coach has to have, you know, the ability to teach. You know, we're all teachers at the end of the day. And to command the room, um, to help guys understand and break this game down to its simplest format. And, and that's what I wanted to convey to coach in terms of in the interview, having the abilities to uh, make this game easier in the thought process. Um, and then also, like we just talked about in terms of over communicating, being a teacher, uh, giving the guys the motivation uh, to go out and put their best foot forward so that we can have a productive product on the field. You know, when, that's a good point. We were talking about that the other day. When you look at uh, our roster, and like you said, there's so many four and five star athletes on this roster. It's not the case, really, in the NFL uh, when you get that. There's a lot of talent. It's, there's, there can be arguably more first-round picks or more first- and second-round draft picks on this ball club than in any NFL team. And so they just have to be developed, right? But the talent is there. If you look at the national championship team, you know, the amount of first-rounders, I don't know too many NFL teams have seven or eight first-rounders on their team. You know, just because of how you got to draft. So the talent is here. You know, I think the talent is here. The SEC West is like another division, right, at the end of the day of the National Football League. But uh, we still have to develop the talent. You know, like you said, they come in as a four or five star athlete. But now it's our job to get them to play in and prepare and perform as a four and five star athlete. <laughs> I learned a lot. I, I, I learned a lot. Uh, one, I learned because, you know, I was coming from the north and uh, – I came down here to Nickel State initially, and I was over there coaching with Daryl Day and Coach Jay Thomas, you know, two LSU alum, and uh, I learned a lot just in terms of dealing with the players. I kind of, to me, Louisiana is important to me because that's where I grew into my coaching personality. Um, you know, as a very young coach, I had, at the time when I came to Louisiana, I had only been coaching for a year out of college. I was, G, you know, I graduated, I did a GA job at Lenore Ryan College, and so you're still trying to find your own, and being in Louisiana, uh, the mentors that I was around, Coach Zeb Simon um, at Generate High School, you know, like I said, Daryl Day and Jay Thomas, they gave you the confidence. They gave me the confidence to be who you are, right? Don't try to be anyone else. <laughs> Don't be anyone else because the players are going to see through if you're really genuine or not. And giving a coach that confidence at an early age, uh, early in his career, just was the world to me. Um, and then it gave me more confidence to learn how to deal with different types of players, right, from all different backgrounds and nationalities. And so um, I think that experience helped groom and set the foundation to who I am today as a coach and the process that we're on, the journey that we're on.